Hello my loves and welcome to Create Your Life. My name is Simone Leah and I am your host and I am so so excited to be here with you guys today because today I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that you can do in your life to build your motivation and commitment muscles to create a life you truly truly love because I know sometimes when we have goals that we have set for ourselves and we're in the throes of life, we can just let some things slide. We might let exercise slide or our diet slide, or we might let our daily meditation practice slide. And by letting that thing slide, sometimes it can have an effect on our motivation and commitment levels in other areas of our life, which is not ideal. <laughs> I've noticed myself that if I don't do regular exercise, it does make me less motivated and less present and my brain gets a little foggier. And because my brain is more foggy, then I'm a little bit more tired, I'm a little bit more motivated and it flows into every area of my life. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this today because I think it's just such an important topic. So let's dive in with the very, very first thing to look at. And I will say that this is a mindful practice. You know, it's it's very much a practice of self-awareness and looking at the way you are in different areas of your life and what you're doing and finding ways to adjust and maximize for you. Find what works for you. What works for me, it might not work for you. But building and creating a life you love, there does need to be an element of motivation and an element of commitment. So if you can start to build those muscles in a way that works for you, then that's what's going to move the needle forward. That's what's going to get you creating that life you love. So let's dive right in. The very first thing that I would be looking at is self-love. Having that motivation and that commitment to yourself is the key here, because if you want to create a life you love, you really need to be committed to yourself. You need to be showing up for yourself. You need to know that creating that life you love, that's a commitment to you because it's your life and no one's going to create that life for you. So whether you are a female entrepreneur or you have other things going on in your life, creating a life you love is a commitment to yourself. Building that business that you desire is a commitment to yourself. And it's a way of showing love to yourself. So I would definitely start by looking at ways that you can show love to yourself, showing up for yourself. One of those things obviously has to do with the, the body. You know, how are you treating your vessel? If I'm not doing regular exercise, it affects brain fog for me. It affects my energy levels. It makes me more tired and sleepy if I'm not doing regular exercise. So one of the ways that I show self-love to myself is by getting up and moving. You know, that's one of the ways for me that really helps me to exercise my commitment muscle because I'm committed to getting up and moving every day. And, you know, it doesn't have to be hard. It could be five minutes first thing in the morning. It could be 20 minutes. It could be an hour's yoga class, whatever it is that works for you. And this is where the mindfulness and self-awareness comes in, in finding what works for you. But I know for me that if I show myself the self-love of getting up every day, despite my motivation, then that helps me during my whole day because I'm showing myself that I love myself enough and that I'm committed to myself enough to get up and move and get rid of any brain fog, get rid of any density, heavy density energy, anything that I'm holding from the evening. And so like by just showing myself that one small self love act, it does build my commitment to myself and my motivation muscle to move my life forward. And how does that affect my business? You might be thinking, how does me getting up and going for five minutes of exercise in the morning? How does that affect my business? Because if you can't commit to yourself, how are you going to commit to your business? How you're showing up in one area of your life is how you're showing up in the other areas of your life. So if you can't show yourself the self love, 
of being committed to your own health and wellness, then that's going to show up in your business in a lack of commitment in the areas of your business as well. Now, I'm not saying for you guys that the way you need to show love to yourself is to get up and move for 10 minutes, because for you, that might not be the case. And I would look at the different areas of your life and your soul and your being and look at what works for you in helping with your motivation and commitment. And I would be looking at the areas of your body. How are you showing up for your body and what you're eating in your exercise, in your sleep patterns, in your routines, your mindset? How are you showing up with your mind? What are you doing to keep your mind healthy and happy and clear? What are you doing with your soul and your spirit? How are you showing up and committing to, to being connected to your own soul? And also, I would look at how you're showing up in your business and, and the effects of what your commitment levels are, what your motivation levels are there as well. And they're the, they're the four muscles that I really want to talk to you guys about building in this video today, because how you are in one area of those is how you're going to be in all four areas of those. And obviously there are other areas of the life, but of life in general. But for the point of this video, I really want to talk about those four areas. And so as we're saying with the showing up for the body thing, one of the ways that I show myself motivation and commitment is that no matter what I'm doing, I get up in the morning and I move. Now that might be different for you. Your, your thing might be that you, your commitment that you show yourself in regards to your body is to do a 45 minute walk at four o'clock every day. Or it could be that you go to the gym for your favorite class five days a week at five o'clock. Or you could have some other way that you show yourself that you're motivated and committed. It could be getting up and having a specific type of breakfast that you know fuels you for the day. Or it could be committing to eating that little bit less sugar because you know it crashes you at three in the afternoon. So it's having that self-awareness to look into these individual areas of your life and see how you're showing up. So I want, I know this is going to be a big video. I want to give you guys some, some things that you can look at in each of those areas. So as we've said with the body, looking at when are you moving your body? How are you moving your body? Are you committed to moving your body? Or is it just a, I'm just going to do this and see what happens? By strengthening that commitment muscle in those four areas, it's really going to show in your entire life because you're showing yourself that you love yourself enough to look after your body. You love yourself enough to look after your mind. You love yourself enough to look after your spiritual self, your spirit, and you love yourself enough to look after your business. So self-love is a huge one. And I know that I've, I've gone from self-love to body and now we're back to self-love. But I do want you guys to look at the ways that you are loving yourself and if you can love yourself more. And that might include doing affirmations before bed or it might include meditating on the feelings of love, joy, hope, happiness, peace. That might be a way that you show yourself self-love. Self-love, it flows into every area of what we're talking about. Self-love shows up in the way of how you exercise and the movement that you do. And it also shows up in what you're eating and your habits around food. It shows up in your habits around sleep. It shows up in your habits around how present you are and what you're doing in your life. Are you mindlessly scrolling or are you reading a book on mindset or personal development? So the practice here is really being mindful and self-aware of what you're doing. So some other tips I can give you, obviously we've looked at the body, is the mind. So knowing what works for your mind and what gives you the best mental state. So for example, you could be someone who scrolls on their phone first thing in the morning for half an hour. I would highly recommend against doing that. I think that turning your phone on first thing in the morning, you're going to be downloading so much. It's it's overwhelming. There's so much on social media. And I heard, I think it was Jai, Jai Chetty say recently that you wouldn't get up in the morning and, and allow 100 people into your bedroom because it's so overwhelming when you first wake up. And the same thing applies here. Jumping onto your phone when you first wake up, it just bombards your nervous system. It doesn't make your nervous system happy. It doesn't regulate your nervous system. 
So looking at, at your habits that you have around your mindset and what's making your mind foggy or unfoggy. A new thing for you could be sleeping with your phone out of your bedroom. It could be not looking at your phone until 9am. It could be waking up and reading a book on mindset while you have your morning coffee. You know, another thing for your mind could be practicing peace and presence. And that could involve for you going for a walk for half an hour, three times a week, and just being in nature and being really present with that. A, a really great way to show self-love and commitment to yourself is looking at where you are present. And even just being present with your morning coffee or just sitting outside for five minutes and being present with the garden or being present with your husband or partner or children or whoever is around you in the evening while you're having dinner. These little things, as unimportant as they sound, they really affect you in the way that they show a, a self-love element to, to who you are and how you're treating yourself. And if you can be present and mindful of the ways that what you're doing is affecting your mind, that is going to flow through into other areas of your life. It is going to flow through into your levels of motivation and commitment to your goals. It is going to show up in the ways of how you are in your business, how present you are in your business, how your mind is in your business. If you're foggy during the day, then you're going to be foggy in your business. You know, if you're feeling uninspired because you're putting things into your into your mind that are overwhelming, then that's going to transpire into your business and you're going to feel uninspired and overwhelmed in your business as well. So having the awareness to just start looking at the habits that you've got and what serves you and doesn't serve you in relation to your mind. And then there's also your spirit guys and your soul. What is your spirit and your soul saying? Are you connecting in with your spirit and your soul? Is there a part of you that just pushes your feelings down? You don't you don't acknowledge your feelings. Is there a part of you that just pushes away anything that you feel isn't a good emotion? You know, you might be feeling overwhelmed or sad or anxious and you just push it down or maybe you eat it, you know, like you might eat those emotions. Uh, I'm saying this because this has recently happened to me. I had something happen to me. Uh, about three months ago and ever since that thing happened I've actually put on a little bit of weight and I noticed that I'm actually eating those emotions every time I get sad I've been feeling it in my stomach and to mitigate that sadness in my stomach I would eat you know so I've noticed that I've been eating my emotions and now I've looked at the the underlying cause for that and the trigger to that it's it was my spirit and my soul crying you know like they wanted attention and I was just eating it I was like nope nope I can't deal with this I can't deal with this so connecting in with your own spirit and your own soul how are you showing up for yourself in that way you know, your spirit might be dying to get out inside and move and you might be just sitting at a computer desk all day. And I know that comes back to body, but it also comes back to spirit. You know, it comes back to your soul when you're doing something that is physical. It, it energizes you. It, it gives you life energy. And it might even be for you personally to nurture your spirit and your body at the same time, you might be feeling like, I don't want to go for a run. I'm not interested in that. I hate that. It's going to be like pulling teeth. But you might be like, all right, I'll put on some music and dance for 15 minutes. And that's going to really nurture your spirit and your soul. But it's also hitting the exercise point. You know, it's hitting you respecting and loving your body and looking after your body. So it's having that self-awareness of knowing what works for you. So a lot of people love yoga. I find yoga to be a little bit boring. I, I don't do yoga every single day, but I do do Qigong and Tai Chi because they are similar. Yoga, uh, yin yoga in particular is a part of Chinese medicine, but it's a different practice where I still get that slowness of movement, but it's a different type of movement that resonates with me. So I will do things like Qigong and Tai Chi and I will do yoga say once a week. For other things, it might be I don't want to go for a run, but I will go for a walk or I will go to a dance class or I will go to a boxing class. For you, you might love going to the gym. 
I don't like going to the gym. <laughs> I like to do things that are active and fun. And to me, that's not fun. I like to do things that are outside or, you know, I like to do a lot of things that feel like playing. So it's having that self-awareness of what lights up your spirit when you're looking at these areas of mindset and body and business, what is lighting up your spirit? And how can you show more self-love and commitment and motivation and nurturing to your spirit itself? So for some people, they might want to meditate for 20 minutes in the morning. For you, you might find that you prefer to do 10 minutes before bed. Uh, you might want to do affirmations, but for someone else, they might want to do EFT. It's having that awareness of how you can find the ways to show self-love, commitment and motivation to yourself so that you can build a life that you truly love and truly desire. And it's also looking at the areas of your business. Where are you showing up and showing self-love in your business? Where are you showing commitment? Where are you showing motivation? And where are you not? And just looking at that, are those not areas? Are they even important? Are they things that you can outsource? Are they things you can let go of? Are they things that don't move the needle forward at all and you're doing them because you feel like you have to? And having that self-awareness of what it is that you are committing to in your business and why you're doing these things is going to show you a lot because you might be trying to really push yourself and you might be feeling really guilty about doing this particular one thing. So for example, you might be really like, I can't go and advertise my business until I get a website. Like that's the main thing, but I just don't want to do it. I'm so unmotivated. I really don't want a website, you know, yet there's someone else using Facebook groups with no website, making a million dollars a year, you know? So having a look at what isn't lighting your soul up and what you're struggling to commit to and seeing whether that's actually something you need to be committing to because you're going to feel so much overwhelm and guilt about this website and you don't even need a website if you want to if you if you look at it you might not even need the website but you've been feeling all this guilt and overwhelm and you feel stuck and it's holding you back because you haven't got this website made so having that self-awareness to have a look at what you are doing in your business and is it lighting up your soul is it hard to feel motivated to do this thing or is it easy to feel motivated to do this thing a lot of people really struggle with social media you know so that's something that you could potentially just outsource or change your strategy you're better off doing three quality posts a week than 15 that feel like pulling teeth so you could even just change your strategy of how much you're doing something or outsource it you know and it does depend on what we're talking about here i would never get rid of social media completely but have a look at what you're doing in your business. Uh, it could be as simple as you hate doing your finances. So you get someone to do your books once a week for an hour. You know, it could be that you hate setting up systems. So you get someone to set the systems up for you, you know. And so when it comes to having motivation and commitment towards yourself and your life, it's looking at those areas of yourself and your business and seeing the way you're showing up and what you can do to pull the things that aren't in alignment back into alignment. And to do that, it might be to let it go. It might be to outsource it. It might be to stop doing exercise in the morning and start doing it in the evening. It might be to start having your coffee in the morning with breakfast. It might be to be doing a 10 minute meditation before you go to bed. It's having a look at your life and keeping track of your life and figuring out what works for you to put you in the best body, mind and spirit space to move your life forward. Now, how do we keep track of these things? Oh my goodness, I might be doing a hundred things. I don't know, I don't know what your routine is, but journaling is a great way to keep track of these things. Excel is a great way to keep track of these things. I know that there's a lot of apps that you can use to keep track like task apps and stuff like that. Personally, I'm very old fashioned and I don't like being on my phone. So I don't use a lot of apps for things. I use a notebook and an Excel document and that is it. And I might even have, you know, an Excel document that says 10 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of reading, glass of water with lemon in it. And it's just, you just tick off the things that you do that are your habits. And then you can look at them and you can monitor how you feel. So I would recommend if you're wanting to be more mindful and 
to build those commitment and motivation muscles to keep track of them. If you can test, measure and monitor, you can always make changes as you go along. So what I would do is I would think about what things you want to bring into your life and commit to it for one month, five days a week. It doesn't have to be seven and do an Excel spreadsheet or get one of those apps and write those commitments in. And it might be, I wouldn't go overboard. I wouldn't give, give, give yourself 10 minutes, um, 10 commitments a day. Just start a simple guys, just pick one thing in each of those areas, right? So it could be, I'm going to get up and do 10 minutes of movement in the morning. That could be your body commitment. That's the commitment you're making to your body with your mind. It could be, I'm going to learn for 10 minutes a day. So I'm going to read a book or do some sort of training course for 10 minutes a day. And that's going to be, that's my mind commitment. And then my spirit commitment might be, I'm going to practice mindfulness and be in nature for 10 minutes a day and just be really present in nature. And that could be your way of connecting back to spirit or it could be motivation or, you know, there's lots of different things you can bring in for these guys. And that's half an hour there in a day, but you're showing yourself the self love and commitment to your mind, your body and your spirit and do the same thing for your business. What is one thing that you could do for the next 30 days to show yourself commitment to your own business like is it just showing up with that set amount of posts you know is it putting out a new offer or creating a new offer that feels more in alignment with you so spending the next 30 days creating that new offer is it looking at a way that you can do something that is going to work better for you than what you're doing now so for example you're spending all this time on this website but you'd prefer to have a facebook group is it letting go of the website and doing the facebook group have a think about what ways you can show yourself commitment to your business and your goals and so it's really just about simplifying don't make it hard guys simplify the process just develop this awareness of what makes you feel good you know, if after a month getting up and moving for 10 minutes doesn't make you feel good, adjust to something else. You know, if after a month meditating right before bed doesn't feel good, then swap it. Do the meditation at lunchtime or try something new. Give yourself the time when you're trying things to see the results of it, but also be quick to change. I would definitely recommend 21 to 30 days for any new habit or routine, just so that you can actually really measure how you felt. And I would keep a journal. I would once a week even just write a journal on these these habits that you've brought in. Just write a one journal page entry every Sunday about, okay, well, this is, was my commitment to my body and this is how I'm feeling a week in. This was my commitment to my body and this is how I'm feeling two weeks in. This was my commitment, you know, and be able to test, measure and monitor that for yourself because building and developing that, that motivation muscle and that commitment muscle is going to be key because you're not going to be motivated all the time. You're literally absolutely not. You're probably going to be motivated 20% of the time. So you need that commitment muscle to kick in. You need to have strength in your commitment muscle for that 80% of the time that you don't really feel motivated and you don't want to do it. So this is why I'm saying look at commitment and motivation as a form of self love to yourself. Look at it as a way you can show love to yourself when you're creating a life that you love reframe what you're doing so that it doesn't feel like a struggle so that it doesn't feel like overwhelm so that it just feels like ease and flow and you know i'm committed to getting up and doing exercise for 10 minutes in the morning because i love myself enough you know i'm committed to changing the tactic of what i'm doing in my business because it's not working and i love myself enough you know look at it as a form of self-love and show that love to yourself Show yourself the love that you have to create a life that you truly desire. I don't even know what to say from there, guys, because that's what it comes down to. Love yourself enough to create the life of your own dreams. Love yourself enough and practice that commitment because it's commitment that's going to get you there. It's commitment and consistency that's going to get you that life that you truly desire. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode today. Uh, it's been a little bit different to normal, and I really, really hope that you've got some things that you can take away, some things that you can try, some tips and tricks that are going to help you to really be able to focus and show yourself that self-love, that commitment, 
to build that life that you truly desire. And if you know someone who would get benefit from this video, please share it with them. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to connect with you. I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message or say hi on social media. And I really do look forward to connecting with you guys again soon.